So we've been in the square for a little while now, and I and I know that uh, we put videos on the internet. People put them up uh, when the police are acting out of turn and they're aggressive and violent. And um, I, I, we've obviously done that. I've obviously made a video about an encounter with the police. Um, but today they've been exemplary. I have to say. I mean, I know it's not London. It's not the Met, but they've come. They've had conversations. There's been no arrests. They've spoken to people. Um, the last sort of uh, people from the gathering are just uh, get, having a coffee, which is perfectly legitimate. They're, they're relatively spaced out, um, <laughs> not on drugs, just in terms of social distancing. And um, the police have been friendly and amicable. They've had conversations. They've listened to people's opinions, and they, they shared like uh, stories and so on. And uh, I have to say, in terms of what um, we've addressed to the police about upholding the constable's oath of um, upholding their human rights. They've done that today. I think uh, as best they can within their remit, which uh, asks them to disperse any gathering. So, I suppose credit where it's due. We're giving them what credit we can. I, I've spoken to a couple of them and asked them to remember um, that that oath about upholding human rights and to and to think about it going forward. Because I don't think these lockdowns are going away. I don't think our freedoms are coming back unless we have some unity amongst the people and also between the people and the police, however much uh, some people might not like that. Um, they are people too and uh, we need everybody on board because otherwise we're in real trouble. We're in real trouble with our rights and our freedoms. On a, on a, on a positive note, they've done well today and it's all ended quite, uh, quite peacefully.